Hello YouTube, welcome back to my house. It's been a hot minute, come in, come in. <laughs> Today is a really fun little episode on my channel where I'm doing something totally different and that is quite frankly, well overdue. We've all been in lockdown for a little bit of time. Lots of us are working from home. I have worked from home for the longest time and I recently felt like I just wasn't getting what I needed like creatively or energetically from my working space anymore. So I had the idea and I put it out on Instagram and I said I would really like to work with a professional organiser to try and tackle this amazing studio space that I have which I moved into a year and a half ago and literally haven't done anything to. The reason I'm doing this is because I wake up in the morning, I walk straight into work, like many of us do, we wake up and we're working from home now, I walk straight into my studio and I just feel so uninspired. I'm stressed, my processes aren't going to plan, there's no systems in place and because of what I do, I've got high volume of product coming in, I'm shooting, I'm styling, I'm doing makeup, I'm doing filming, I just need a little bit of a facelift on the space that I use most. So. Today I'm going to be doing um, a really fun episode where I work with a professional organiser called Atisha. She's coming down and we're going to walk through the room and she's going to help me basically turn this room upside down on its head and give it a total new look and hopefully bring so much zen and calm and creativity back into my life. So a year and a half ago when I did a moving in vlog, I very proudly showed you this space because I am so lucky to even have this amazing space with beautiful light. But as you'll see now, it's kind of got a little bit on top of it itself. It's no longer the beautiful functional space it once was. My systems don't work anymore. My processes don't work anymore and I'm just waking up and I'm not enjoying being at my in my lovely room. So hopefully this lady can help me out. There we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Come Thank in. Thank you. I'm so excited. This is Letitia everyone. She works for Mesh Hub and she has agreed to work with me on this project. Which I'm so excited about. Lovely. I actually spoke to quite a few organisers and I went with Letitia because I felt like you added something a little bit different to what a lot of the other organizers were offering. You do feng shui, you like look at business psychology. Yes. And the business psychology actually, it's what I try to push into that. So we mm -hmm. try to analyze your routine and how things work for you. In that place, you had a functional way mm -hmm. to organize things, but yeah. perhaps doesn't serve you anymore. So this is why exactly. we are here and we're gonna try to discover what we can do to improve your day-to-day -day life. Amazing, I'm so excited. Um, I'm kind of dreading showing you the room because like it's such an amazing space and I just am not putting it to good use so I feel like a little bit guilty about that as well so hopefully it's not you can you can find a solution for me so let's go through <laughs> this is the space fairly big right. there's lots of light when the blinds are up as you can see there's a lot going on in here every corner of the room is taken up by some sort of activity or like area that I need to work in obviously you've got my desk this shooting area and stuff mm -hmm. so there's a lot going on I can see that you have a lot of items but I understand that this is demanding from your job mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. I can see a lot of potential here it's a great space has light and you can feel motivated again to be here and feel cozy at the end of the day you you take a lot of time for example to find one item that you perhaps don't know where is it so you need to have a, mm -hmm. our organization system here and I understand just for looking here that you still have your organization there so this is amazing so as Good I place to start yes okay so let's begin with the desk Space. This mm -hmm. is probably the most important space, the one I use the most every single day. It's the one I, I first approach when I walk in in the morning with my coffee. And I think this is really where it falls flat for me. Okay. Because I'll come in and I'll be like, right, starting the day, I've got my schedule, I wrote it out the night before, I'm mm -hmm. ready, I'm ready to go. And then I'm just like, oh, deflated. I don't know what it is because I love the desk space, I have a comfortable chair, I've got all my bits, like my organisation, my lamps, my crystals, my supplements, and my mood board. what do you like here most? The space. The I space. love having the big desk. Okay. Yeah, we, we can come up with some solution here and especially perhaps to have more space, like clear space. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. This is where I shoot my YouTube mm -hmm. content. Um, I access this space maybe once a week. Okay. Where I bring all my lights out and I set up my camera. As you can see, they're very big, bulky items. There's not really anywhere for them to go. I'm not going to pack them down. I'm being realistic about this. It's just this, <laughs> this happens all the time and I clean it up like every two months and within a few 
few days it's just back to looking like that yeah it's it's unfortunately we need that so we just need to try to figure out again some way that you can store and perhaps keep out of your sight okay yeah because it is ugly this is my dog if you could clean her up as well <laughs> she's a hot mess <laughs> she is tidy little, little oh, you're being so neat today aren't you you're showing up tell me a little bit what do you like about this space well this yeah. one here yes oh is this a question you ask everyone then yeah. like what do you like yes. so it kind of gives you a starting yes. point i don't like anything about this space but do you feel comfortable here? Do you like the light that comes in? It's not the ideal situation for lighting. Mm -hmm. Considering I'm filming and shooting here like once or twice a week, it, I have to bring my artificial lighting out. I think this could probably be moved to be honest. Normally what time do you, do you film? See, I film at any time. It's just when my schedule allows. So that's why I have the lighting because I need to be able to create light when there isn't some outside sometimes <laughs> so let's go and move to this area okay so this is my functional stylist rail um mm -hmm. i get sent clothes from brands I, I buy my own clothes i put them here so i remember to shoot them because if they go in my main wardrobe i forget about them they don't get shot i'm not doing my job if i'm honest and this is where the crossover happens between my work and my life because i my life is my work i actually dress every day from this rail but yeah it's it's a mess and there's so much dust behind so this is your home office space but also your dressing area yeah okay i can see that you are very visual as well so you need to have this a hundred percent okay so this is an area i also use every day much okay. like my desk i've had this ikea dresser now for seven years like mm -hmm. it's a little bit battered but it does the job and i I'm, i've not replaced it yet because i'm not sure what i would replace it with to be honest it, it's functional you i know? think it's functional can i see of course I like to think that this is semi-organized. Okay. <laughs> These are old like birch boxes, you know, the, the beauty boxes, and then that's hair product. So hair. And this is sunglasses and hair scrunchies. Hair I, I love these. These are great. I got these years ago and they've been so good. And then I have more here. This is an area where I really enjoy being. Okay. It's not the best light wise though, like because you are against the wind. Right. I do just have to draw your attention to this. <laughs> Potentially the most challenging area of the room, I would say. This is used every single day. It has multi-function. So like I said, it's a place I chuck my, <laughs> my bags. It's got product, product and more product. These yeah. are all samples I get sent for my work. I vaguely had a system at one point where I would be like, this is paid brands. I'm gonna have to access these on and off for an ongoing like amount of time. These are samples that I want to test but haven't had the time. But then it all just basically merged into one. But do you have any kind of uh, way to, for example, if you would like to test some shampoo today, do you have a corner only for shampoos? It, it all gets mixed up because if I had a corner for every single different type of beauty products, I'd need mm. a thousand corners. Okay. I do one thing wrong, I put one thing out of place and I'm just like, oh, whatever. Yeah, but go. need so some wine. So we decide where the house of this product would be, Emily needs to train her brain and put back Oh god. <laughs> oh god. We're gonna remove and check item by item and we're gonna categorize with Woo! you. We're gonna be here to 2021 people. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. <laughs> I would like you to explain me a little bit about this. Oh okay. This is an interesting area. I'm so glad you drew attention to it. This is just boxes. Empty boxes. And why do we keep the boxes? Because I feel guilty when I get rid of something that is pretty but like that has wine glasses okay that has a cake to cake thing that i just kept because i don't know i'm really good at getting rid of things because if i wasn't this place would be a fucking nightmare mm -hmm. it's 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 not great now but it would be way worse i'm really quite ruthless at being like go out out no no but sometimes something just gets the better of me and i'm like no nah, keep it <laughs> i have files and paperwork here mm-hmm which is just, you know, things you can't throw out because you need to keep for like taxes or whatever. Yeah. It's a bit, it's hellish. <laughs> it's not. You're gonna see some light in the end of the way. Don't worry, we're gonna be fine. This is a really shiny example of my organizational skills because I bought these drawers very early on in my blogger career when I realized I was gonna be getting sent a lot of things and I have labeled them. It's very aesthetically pleasing. If you open it up, oh, there's oh, a wig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Jim loves doing Oh, that's so, what is that? <laughs> um, we've got blushes and highlights. We've got all my SPF. You know, it's very organized. This is, if I could somehow do this here, uh -huh. that would be great. That's good, right? Do I get no, a gold medal for that? <laughs> you do. Do you do. have a trophy for that? Thank you. Definitely. So this is the final area. This is like a nothing corner. It just get all the stuff that doesn't really have a place goes okay. here. Mm -hmm. So if I'm finished shooting like an outfit, but I know that I wear it quite regularly, it might stay there. It's got a load of things that are out of That's, season as well. Yeah. That I just I'm not gonna be like. It's got some bikinis down there, but we've also got some fur jackets. So they've been there since winter last year because okay. I have a storage issue in this house, so they just stay. This is where I put the product that I'm done with. It's going. Tarting, so tarting it's just two big bags, mm -hmm. makeup and clothing. How about these? Bag here. That is my box of art supplies that I bought at the start of lockdown because like most people I was like oh I'm gonna become an artist during lockdown <laughs> and did I pick them up? I did, I did myself as well. <laughs> did, but did you pick yours up and paint? Yeah, yeah, I tried. So I didn't, I, did, I just left them there. They've been there for six months looking at me and every time I look at them I'm like oh I feel so guilty. So this is what I call like future project. Oh. It's always like in the future. Yes, that is exactly, <laughs> maybe future never project. Okay, okay, good name. Okay, so now you've seen my space. Although you were very complimentary about it, I do think there's a lot of work to be done. <laughs> um, what, like, what's the plan? What I can feel and gather from your place is a lot of going on here. So your eyes is catching different points at the same time, and we need to try to reduce this. So for today, our suggestion would be we're gonna go area by area, we're gonna touch, see what is there, and try to understand a little bit more how you use things and we are moving and we're gonna do a 360 in your I like whole that. room I like that because normally I just I just do areas at random so I like that so is it about taking out all my stuff and saying it goes it stays and then understanding the purpose of it as well exactly right. exactly okay. and nominate the places for for each item and like, we can do that even though we don't know what the final plan is we don't know what everything's gonna look no, like no because our main idea today is to understand what you have try to calculate the volume of items as well that you have and after we're gonna <laughs> try to understand uh, what you gonna need my way emily to work is trying to use as much as you have here without pushing you to buy different items right. and after that I need to take just some measurements for us to do the study of Feng Shui as well oh yeah I have a person who works with me so she's gonna uh, detail your room and she's gonna come up with wow. a map so these I, I just need some few measurements and also see wh where the direction of your room is and yeah. we're gonna do that have for you, you have you brought your compass uh, yes <laughs> oh my phone <laughs> I really wanted you to get out an old compass and be like, Northwest. No, 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 we can use app. <laughs> so it's day two that we really, we come back in and we rearrange furniture. I feel like that's going to be the real work. I don't think the organization is, is the real work. Let's see. <laughs> okay. The first area we're going to tackle is my dressing table, which is one of the funner areas because it's absolutely chock full of amazing beauty products. I feel like the teacher's gonna come in and be like, Emily, do you really need three scalp serums? I'm like, yes. No, not <laughs> at all. So basically, let's start in this way. I would like you just to put out. Okay. I'm just trying to, for me to understand what you have here. This is all hair. All hair. You use all. <sighs> okay. I don't use everything here, but I like to have everything on hand because I, you know, it's convenient, but it's messy, I get it. For example, I've got two, three texturizing sprays, one, two heat protection sprays, three scalp serums, three serums, that is texture actually also, one hairspray, one root spray, one curl spray. Cool, lovely. In... Wait, do I get to keep them all? Let's see if we're gonna have space. What I tend to do is I like arrange them so they're by themes, but naturally over the course of a few weeks, things get messed, so right? what I would like you to categorize then and, mm. and divide. I thought this needs to be replaced though. I've had them for seven years. Don't worry. Good. Today we are not focused on the things, okay, <laughs> on the boxes, but uh, just later. the items. Yes. Foundation, 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 <laughs> foundation, foundation. <laughs> so I, do you know what? I need about four or five. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. But because I, they have different um, textures, textures and I different events, you know. Mm -hmm. So I need them on hand. But yeah, I admit there is probably too many there. 
and then I've got primer, 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 bronzer, 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 blush, and eyeshadow. That's not supposed to be there. Yes. CBD oil. I keep all my ray bands because they're my fave. It's like a shop. Oh no, I don't know. This one. And these? No. I'll do the high bar. Yeah. And maybe these can go because I don't wear them anymore. Yes, and these one. Bye. Get in the zone. Oh, my drugs. CBD oil. I, I use this every day, so it kind of stays here. You put next to your um, vitamins? Yeah, we can do a That's corner. That's a good again. idea. Mm -hmm. Pack your case. Right. I always do the laundry first, like absolutely get the laundry done. The makeup, I can't face it. So let's face it now. <laughs> 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 Break Scrunchies. Yeah, hair. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a really great solution for hair bands? Because they they always look messy no matter what you do with them. Yeah, we just need to find like some some container that we stick all together. Mm. And they're color coded. <laughs> so bags. Explain me a little bit about these bags. Tote bags. They're functional. So I've got a lot of them and because I like variety and then they're easily accessible there so that's why they're there because nobody uses this as a water cupboard. Can we try to place and find a home next to the other bags as well? Yeah, that okay. would make sense or even like having a hook somewhere. Yeah. I don't know whether this is something that already works and I'm just not good at keeping on top of it. So what we can do is just go item by item, just make sure that everything's going to stay here. That needs to go on my regular wardrobe. Regular wardrobe? Yeah, this needs to go on the other rail. Uh, that is Nate's. Why is that in here? I really do need to start getting less lazy and make the distinction between oh, I've put this out because I want to wear it versus I've put this out because I need to shoot it for work. And I, there's a difference and I need to keep them separate and that's why I need, that's why I have the two rails. But again, in one, two months, if it doesn't work, yeah. you need to rethink. Right, okay. Fine. This needs to go away because summer's over. Summer's over again. Summer's still over. I need to get these hemmed, like they need to go to the tailor. So this is a future project. Future project. We should put somewhere that he minds you. <laughs> to work is basically to have a set uh, selection of current trendy shoes okay. that I can reach for when I'm styling an outfit. Yeah, so I don't use those. I do use those. I don't use those. I do use those. I do use those. I don't use those. I do use these. I don't use those. I use them but not in fashion. <laughs> <laughs> these are not fashion. Oh my gosh. I've had these for three years. They're really expensive, well-made Russell and Bromley mules. Yeah. And I'm just not a mule girl. But I always feel like I should keep them because I see Instagrammers wearing their mules in the winter with their like knitwear and their jeans. And I'm like, oh, I just, maybe one day I'll wear them at the house. We're going to put somewhere that you can see. And you need to promise me in two or three months if you don't use something you need to be shifting. Okay, I'll make an effort to wear them out and if I really... I'm gonna put in your to-do list okay. and make sure that I'm wearing my super, super nice shoes. Hi guys, we are doing very well. We're having 
great time together and now we just had some pause to have some coffee just to collect our energy of course she holds a lot of stuff because of her professional which is completely fine but now we are crack on that so hopefully uh, today we're gonna uh, achieve our main goal that is do half of the room and we can show you the results for you later I'm so confused how have you managed to put that wardrobe in there what have you removed from the wall Anything. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. How is it fitting? Ta -da! I think it was magical. I just don't understand why I didn't have it like that to begin with. Juno, are you helping us? Shall we keep those or shall we send to the beach? Oh, she's been lonely today because we're busy. <laughs> been a really long day. I knew that we would be working for most of the day but because of the nature of the work I am shattered. <laughs> it's also um, a really hot day today but we did really well like we did just keep going. We had a, maybe a 30 minute break all day. They were really great. They work as such a good team um, always like being super honest and open about their opinions like not being precious at all which is exactly what I like from the people I collaborate or work with I want people just to tell it to me straight because it just makes things easier I think um, and they said that I was really great and very quick and very ruthless with getting rid of things it's 6 30 so we've been working for seven hours pretty much but there's only a few areas to do we've still got the desk to do so the towel, beauty towers to do. But other than that, we've done everything. So yeah, they're coming back tomorrow and I better get some rest because we'll be at it again. So I've just received an exciting email from Letitia at Mesh Hub. She sent me through the home office layout suggestions. So like the new like setups. Um, she's got four suggestions here. So I'm just gonna show you quickly on my computer. I've already decided which one I want, <laughs> but there's quite a few options and I do like a few of them, but a lot of what she does and has suggested throughout this process is finding something that really works with me and resonates with me and makes me feel comfortable and inspired immediately i was like i love suggestion one so let me show you so this is suggestion one which i think i like the most the reason i love it is because the desk and the sofa like directly opposite each other and i just really like how that feels like it feels like a really nice layout and then she's added everything else in the room just around the around the edges but this one is uh what appeals to me the most this one being honest this one it feels a little bit awkward for me um yeah that's probably my least favorite mm, i do like this one as well it's actually quite similar to number one except the sofa is slightly further down rather than in front and for me the symmetry of that first option just feels better in all of them she's moved the vanity to the window where the natural light comes in so i think that's a definite for every single suggestion. This one again is similar to suggestion one with this um, symmetrical sofa and desk layout. The only difference is the storage has now been flipped on its side and it's underneath the window. So I might like to give that a go um, when we all meet up next and we implement the new theme. upon us uh, it's day two part two of um, my get organized office revamp yeah I'm really excited it's been two weeks since they were here last so it gave me a chance to really be in the space again and it's just made me realize how ready I am for a change it was really hard though being in the space and not having it in its new setup but maintain the organization they left me behind with because when they left the place was so so tidy all the stuff had gone like all of the excess product that was just sitting around taking up space so I felt really purged but at the same time I feel like it was a bit of a halfway house over the last few weeks it's not done and complete i'm really excited for what they're going to do so they're, they're already like building stuff and moving stuff around and 
I'm just in here waiting, I guess. I'm doing some work at the moment, but I think I'm gonna go and help them in a second and get stuck in, and then they're probably gonna shoo me away and do the final touches. Letitia brought around some really interesting um, documents today with the layout and just sort of like some psychology behind the process of the organization and everything. She's also um, consulted a feng shui expert who has like plotted my room, looked at the coordinates, north, south, east, west, and like sort of pinpointed areas that could use like have certain energies and like could do with like crystals or plants that sort of thing so it's all very interesting it's a really 360 approach and I said it before it's the reason I wanted to work with Letitia because I feel like it's so multi-layered and it, she really gets an understanding of who I am not just in the way I work but like a, in a more spiritual sense as well so yeah I'm really excited to see the final result so we are I guess we're halfway through the second day and a really interesting part of what Letitia does um, in her offering as a professional organizer and business psychotherapist is um, the sort of like the mindful aspect to what she brings to a client's reorganization of their space and part of that is feng shui which I think we've all heard of um, but hands up I don't really know much about but I know that it's, good, it's a good thing <laughs> and it works with energies and it looks at how the room is designed and the flow and it's obviously a part of what you offer so the teachers come with a really cool diagram of what the room's gonna look like. I'm wondering if we should just hide that. <laughs> no, no, that's not. Because it's a pretty drone. <laughs> but like, she's done loads of crystal work and I want you to talk us through it because it's so fascinating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have uh, the plan that we chose. Basically, our idea here was to bring more clarity, more energy for the room. And this is my consultant because I am not feng shui expert, but she is. <laughs> she brings a lot of like aspects of your room and she always trying to guide us where to put some furniture mm -hmm. like uh, for example the desk would be in a common position so you're gonna have an overview of your room and what's going on around yeah. and this is uh, in fact is very good because so, before I had it just facing the wall although I was next to windows it was just it's almost like a block isn't exactly. it? Exactly. The good thing as well is that the desk will be seat where the creativity and the relationships are so mm. this is very good and very powerful for you all. And so is this something that can be applied to any room? Any room, any yeah. room but we studied what you have here so again we don't don't believe that we need to put some remedy or some cure for some some spaces like buying Chinese coins and put on the corner. Mm. What we believe is the intention that you are bringing to the environment and the environment is going to bring back to you. Okay. So it's like a visual board, basically. Right. So you visualize in your room what you want for your life. And this is what we always say, that sometimes the room can tell a lot about yourself. <laughs> so... <laughs> no, but it's true, it's true. <laughs> Two parts. I think the room originally told a story of who I am, <laughs> and then hopefully the finished product, although it's going to look quite different from the beginning, will also reflect me, but I guess the side of me that I want to be more of versus the more chaotic side that it was representing before, because like I said early on in, in the show, in the episode, I come in here every day and I just have a block. It's no longer a place I enjoy to be in. And even if I come in with energy, it's quickly taken away from me. That's how yeah. I feel. So I'm hoping this really helps it all just flow, like you say. And, and as we had the conversation already before, it's two ways. The environment can provide you some kind of mm. energy and you also need to put some energy to acquire the environment mm. and, and works like as in yang. If you see the sign here, yeah, 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 there is that. So right. I have quite a yang energy. So you need to I mean, more yin. bring yeah. some in and the yoga is good that you are doing. Lovely. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You've got to find homes for all these little crystals. <laughs> you do. Have. Little shelves like everywhere. <laughs> no. oh, so much energy. Beauty. The quality present in a thing or person that gives intense pleasure or deep satisfaction. Finally, got some frames for my Yves Saint Laurent artwork that I picked up in Morocco over a year and a half ago. I was there on a press trip. I've got this amazing YSL gardens and like the shop is full of like posters and artwork that he like released every year. Really strong images. I've literally had them rolled up for a year and a half, but today they get framed and they go in the office. 
I love how in Ikea they're like, all of our uh, frames are made of plastic now for safety reasons. And I'm like, no, just because you want to save money. Oh! <laughs> I didn't take off the other one. You had one job. One job, Emily. One job and you fucked up. What is that? Ta-da! Emily, welcome to your new office space. Oh my gosh, it's like not even my own space, but my space. I see my things, but it's just totally different. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. It's so good. It feels already so, like it makes sense. Great. And everything's not like just shoved against the wall, especially, and this is my favorite bit actually, the desk <laughs> area. I feel like a proper boss. Comments. I've got my YSL posters. Me and Juno are gonna make some big bucks, aren't we, Juno? We're gonna make the big bucks. Do you like the desk in this position? Yeah, I, I was concerned that maybe I wanted it there because I wanted to like walk into the desk, but mm -hmm. actually, that wall now looks like almost like a, a showroom, you know? Like it's yes. got like the sofa and the, the rail and the mirror. And it was all there before, but it's rearranged itself now. So the sofa is facing me. So if I have guests, then I can speak to them and stuff. This is the common position. So it's very nice to have the table. So you can have a 360. Also push your creativity. Oh, I need to do some content today. Or perhaps I'm going to use that clothes today to film. Full view of the room. Exactly. Whereas before I was facing the wall and, it, and it just I was closed off to everything behind me. I didn't even want to look behind me because it was just chaos most of the time. And actually this was the area that was the most chaotic for sure. I mean these Calyx uh, design shelves from Ikea, which loads of people have, they're so handy but they just give you the opportunity to put everything and just mess it up. And it was always so on show. And one of the things you said to me from the beginning was we need to close things off so you're not your mind isn't going in like a million different directions so we've compartmentalized because this is like a to-do list for me we've used my label maker to like label the everything sponsored content and product here we've got sample inbox and then samples to try so these are things that have come in but i've not looked at this is stuff that i've unwrapped but i still need to actually use and then stuff that i've decided to i'll actually make some content out of so it's in a nice row and again if it doesn't work you can move around mm -hmm. you just need to feel the room and see what it's working and what's not yeah so this area was my youtube corner you guys probably recognize it i sit on this couch i make all my videos it was over there before but now it's like right opposite my desk and basically these two sides have swapped over haven't they yes yeah. right. it's almost like that's the administrative portion of the office and then this is the creative area where I'm creating like video and makeup and I'm styling and filming so Letitia made me get some green because I didn't I have loads of plants in my house but none in my actual office space exactly. where I spend most of my time so I picked this one up and she came in today and she was like oh I know this plant I have it very easy to take care of <laughs> I was like that's my one requirement for a plant which is good yeah she's gonna work perfect for you just just trying to steal the show <laughs> I'm really happy with where we've put the vanity space because before I had it over there in that corner where uh, it's dark uh, but here there's so much natural light and I never really took advantage of the fact I've got a wall of windows here yes. so I'll be able to do my makeup every day um, with the natural light but when it's obviously dark <laughs> I got. I bought these two years ago and I've never used them today is the first day <laughs> and also because you work a lot with makeup so you need to have like natural light mm. for not creating kind of like shadow <laughs> oh. so you don't look like a clown <laughs> i had a real big issue with storing my hair tools uh, it was one of just and i'm sure lots of you watching can relate like cables and like we all own more than one hair tool so we've got this tiny little trolley which is really cute it almost looks like a beauty salon trolley but it's got everything i use here and then believe it or not i have more than these hair tools so they're just gone away into a hair drawer but this is the kind of like working hair station area hasn't changed too much although 
I will show you the inside of the drawers because they now look very, very nice. But generally speaking, we just moved it together with the beauty because this is like my beauty, my beauty towers. Like I've got all my samples in here. If you need, we can create like a U line so you can have this open, try there, put back, mm -hmm. and it's easy so you don't need to walk around the room. And that's it because bit. actually it's so surprising. If you're like me and you're a little bit lazy, like admittedly, <laughs> then you will, I used to take things out here. I would kind of be like, oh, I need this, I need this, I go over there, I use it and I'd be like, where does it go? It stays there and then I go and back. after, and... let's put on the drawer. <laughs> yeah, I just tie that out. Yeah. No one needs to see that. But no, I'm a changed woman, guys. <laughs> now that it's next to me, I actually have no excuse. I need to just put it straight back. I love the candle that you put here. And actually, she chose and gives like, okay, now is evening, let's calm down. I love relaxing. candles. Yes. Any time of year. And I feel like to commemorate this special occasion, a fresh candle fresh beginnings it's also by fresh and promise they're not paying me to say this <laughs> <laughs> all right so that has been my office oh, oh, makeup excuse me just one last piece of my oh my shoes gosh no, I, oh that's so sweet oh thank you You're welcome i hope you like it <laughs> we feel you yes you do thank you no thank you you guys have been amazing Really, it's been such an enjoyable experience. So easy. These guys have so much energy and just pleasure to work with, really. It's been so good. Such a, such a pleasant experience, even though it has been hard work. It's got your new outfit. Oh my gosh, an aroma diffuser. I love these. Oh, that's so nice. So I can have the smell of lavender going on and on and on. And on. And on. <laughs> <laughs> I love, she yeah. sprays lavender everywhere. No, but Thank actually you. your oil is patchy. So oh. it's, it's written there. So is it? Yeah, so it's patchy. Who know, says? So the Feng Shui. Oh my gosh. Mm, yeah. She just smells as well. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Those products are there. It's too. Oh, it's like some glass. It's very sleek. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. So, yeah, I've seen Leticia and Tyres from Mesh Hub Off, and I am, well, I say this was such a great experience I've wanted to do this forever like the idea organization in general for me is like something that I quite enjoy um, and it wouldn't have been reflected in the way that I was treating my office space which I use every day for like eight to ten hours a day um, and I just kind of felt like I'd lost my way a little bit I wasn't feeling creative I was blocked the place was just unpleasant to be in which is such a shame because it's such a beautiful big room and I'm so blessed to have a space like this to work in. So yeah, um, it's amazing that I got this opportunity to work with these ladies. Um, like I said, I, I went through a bunch of people and Natisha's work just really spoke to me because it's just like, it's got that multi-layered approach, which like you saw with the Feng Shui and with the addition of her um, qualifications in business and, and psychology, it just feels like the perfect marriage between not just making something look nice and make it functional, but also not making it feel good as well. Um, so yeah, I had such an amazing time. It was hard work, I'm not gonna lie, but the girls have so much energy and we blitzed through this whole project in two days, would you believe it? The customer service is amazing, she's so responsive. I would highly recommend it to everyone. So I will leave the teacher's details down below in the description box, obviously. I will also list a few of the key items that we use today. Uh, to make this room what it is now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me all your comments and suggestions or anything you want to say down below in the comments section. Also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do not forget to subscribe. Right Juno? We want some new followers, don't we? Yeah, someone's ready for a nap. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you back here on my channel really, really soon. Bye for now.